welcome to another mini tutorial with me, Carl Mitchley, of the Tent Essex Living History Group. Today I thought we'd look at the 1914 pattern and lever emergency equipment. The British Army in 1914 was equipped with the 1908 pattern equipment, the webbing equipment that we looked at in a previous video. However, there are only two factories in the UK that could make this webbing. And unfortunately they could only churn out 20,000 sets a week. In the furore of 1914, with patriotic, patriotic civilians joining the army en masse, there was, this was not enough equipment to supply these soldiers joining the ranks, joining the new Kitchener volunteer armies. So the government, the War Department, decided to look back on how they had made the soldiers' equipment before 1908. And that was with leather. Since the Army contract, the War Department contracts had finished in 1908, a lot of leather manufacturers were struggling for work, but the skills that were needed to make equipment were still there. So the War Department, in their infinite wisdom, went back to these leather makers with a design and asked them to make this. The 1914 pattern leather equipment. This equipment was used by the Kitchener Volunteer Armies and originally it was only supposed to be used for training. However, as we know, plenty of battalions took this equipment over to the Western Front, Mesopotamia, Gallipoli and fought with it against the enemy. And it's seen throughout the war. In fact, it's not phased out of service until 1921. So even though it's only supposedly meant to be for training, it's used throughout the war. Originally it was tanned a green colour called Service Brown. This was so it matched the khaki green uniforms of the soldiers. However, after only a few weeks, the design and spec was changed and it's made in a colour called London Brown, which is much more of a browny, dark, chocolatey colour. So what we're going to do is, very similar to the 1908 pattern video, webbing video that I put on previously, we're going to see how to put this equipment together. So here we have the full set in battle order, ready for wearing in the trench. And here we see it in full service marching order. The valise has been placed on the back in replace, replacing the haversack. And the haversack has been put down across the left hip, covering over the bayonet. Now let's look at the individual components. Starting with a two inch wide leather belt. Here we can see, see the snake buckle clasp, which was not a new design and dated back to at least the Napoleonic times. All the fittings of the pattern 1914 leather were of drawn or cast brass. Here we have the two brace attachments, which attach from the belt to the ammunition pouches with their two brass buckles. Here we can see the front and rear of the ammunition pouches. The pouches are identical to each other, unlike the 1908 pattern equipment, and they were designed to carry 60 rounds of .303 British rifle ammunition. Here we have the water bottle cradle. The bayonet frog for the 1907 pattern bayonet. The entrenching tool, health carrier. Here we have the entrenching tool, head carrier. The haversack, which was slightly bigger than the 1908 web version. A 
And finally, the valise with its two one inch equipment straps running across the front. Although officially not part of the 14 pattern leather equipment, here we can see the wire cutter pouch. And inside the wire cutter pouch, the three pronged wire cutters. To assemble the equipment, slide the bayonet frog over the left hand side of the belt face up on the ground as you look at it. As you can see my wire cutters are already placed on the belt but this is for personal preference and not part of the equipment. Then attach the entrenching tool helve carrier to the one inch strap on the back of the bayonet frog. Flip the belt over and place the belt over the back of the ammunition pouch. Fasten the two small straps over the back of the belt so the ammunition pouch is attached to the belt. Repeat at the other end and your belt should now look something like this. Now flip the belt back over and it should look like this. Now taking your brace attachment, thread it through the small one inch buckle on the back of the belt. Repeat with the other brace attachment, making sure that they cross over. With the other end of the brace attachment, taking care not to cross or twist the brace, thread it through the one inch buckle on top of the ammunition pouch. Take the surplus end and place it, thread it through behind the ammo pouch and the belt. Your lever equipment should now look something like this. Your entrenching tool head carrier can now be attached to the two one inch straps hanging down at the back of the belt. The water bottle cradle can now be added to the bottom of the brace attachment on the surplus end and the one inch strap on the bottom of the right hand ammunition pouch. The haversack can now be added. Using the two lever straps on top of the haversack, thread them through the buckles on the two inch brace attachments. Repeat on both sides. On the back of the belt, you should now be left with two one inch straps that are not attached to anything. These two loose one inch straps attach to the buckles on the bottom of the haversack. Once your water bottle, your entrenching tool head, your bayonet and entrenching tool helve are added, your equipment should look like this, set up in what is known as battle order. If you require the equipment in full service marching order, simply take off the haversack, place it on the left hand hip, attaching to the one inch strap on the bottom of the ammunition pouch and the loose brace attachment strap on the back of the belt and place the valise exactly where the haversack was, connecting it in exactly the same way. Well, that was the 1914 pattern emergency lever equipment as used by the Kitchener volunteers throughout the whole of the First World War and beyond. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please like. If you have any comments, please put them in the comments box below and please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.